So we're happy to introduce uh, probably this week in public uh, release uh, the Android version for Apps Fire, uh, which will give you a great pleasure to uh, search and find uh, great Android apps. Uh, the first uh, great thing about Apps Fire is that you don't need Apps Fire. Uh, you will be able to search for apps right away from your uh, from your home screen, um, and uh, you won't need to uh, to open the app. So you want an app for. Uh, uh, whatever for for music, uh, yeah, music, and there you go. Uh, as you can see, the search is uh, is pretty fast. Uh, you can filter by uh, by pet apps or uh, or free apps pretty quickly. Okay, uh, for each app. You have a detailed view of uh, of the uh, of the app. Uh, you can browse very quickly the uh, the uh, the screenshots. Okay, that's pretty convenient. You have here also a fire meter, which is an indicator of how hot uh, is uh, the app. You can mark it as favorite, and uh, as you will see later, you'll be able to uh, to bookmark your app for um, for uh, later viewing or uh, for building wish lists, and you will be able to so to share. Uh, to share the, your app either by email or by Twitter or Facebook or by our QR code, which is uh, pretty popular on Android. Um, so here we are in the app itself, and you can see at the very bottom uh, four areas: uh, Discover, App Mixes, My Apps, and Favorites. My Apps is a kind of a personal section. Um, it will help you uh, uh, view uh, all your apps. So you can uh, you can browse them one by one, but if you want, you can also uh, view them all at once by pressing this button, which is very convenient. Uh, and you will be able to, uh, for example, for uh, for this one in long press, and install it or launch it. So it's pretty convenient if you want to access fast your apps. Um, at the very top, you see a filter which can be accessed from uh, this button. Uh, you will be able to uh, filter apps uh, that are paid or that require an update or just by keyword. We're introducing also a personal statistics section uh, where you'll be able to see exactly how many apps you have and how much you have paid for them. And also a brand new feature. We have not seen that uh, feature in, in any other app, but in one click you'll be able to move your apps from your device memory to the SD card, freeing up a lot of space for uh, whatever you need. So it's pretty convenient and uh, we believe people will like that. Another cool area is app mixes. So what we do in App Mixes is that we bring you the best app selection made by the best publication and experts from all over the web. Uh, so you don't have to uh, run after them. Um, so here, for example, uh, let's see. You can see a selection, a question that comes very often on Twitter, about the best apps for uh, Twitter on Android. So we gather every single uh, selection made by other publication. Here, for example, um, social, social Times dot com have selected six, six free uh, Twitter app. Uh, you can see um, them right here. And if you want to uh, to know more about uh, about these apps, why they've been selected, you just long press them. And you can view the source and read the article right away by why they were selected. And um, you have actually a very very wide selection of applications, some for productivity, some for movie. Uh, and it's constantly updated, so it's a great section to uh, to find a curated list of uh, of, uh, of Android apps, and will save you a lot of time. Um, then you have a discovery section, uh, which is a way for you to uh, to to find new apps. First, we've built um, a really advanced, uh, but you don't need to know that a very advanced algorithm to uh, to discover apps based on what you already own. Uh, it's like uh, you know. Months of work that we've been compiling uh, over uh, over experience with uh, iOS, and now we bring it to the Android. Uh, and you can see those apps, and they are uh, they will be refreshed, so you will be able to discover new apps all the time. Uh, when available in your country, you will be able to discover apps relevant for you in your country. So not apps that are generic to um, everywhere, like Facebook or Evernote, but some that are really specific to your country. We bring you some rankings including a section of movers and shakers, which uh, will show you the apps that are gaining uh, weight and popularity uh, in, uh, among users. Uh, and we'll bring you a selection of VIP users, which are uh, uh, other people using Apps Fire. Uh, so you will be able to see, uh, for example, uh, let's see, uh, the CEO of, uh, of TuneWiki here, Rani Cohen. You'll be able to see, uh, 
this is his favorite apps. Uh, it's pretty. Uh, uh, well, he's using Elsewhere, which is the good news. He's using a lot of apps, Facebook, for Android, etc. And if you want to know more about uh, Wiz, you just click him, and you can see his Twitter account, and you can uh, even contact him, uh, which is pretty cool. So this is for the discovery section. App mixes we talk about, my apps we saw, and this is the favorite, which is a section where you can mark uh, any app as a as a favorite. So uh, right now the top eight apps are um, the following, and I can um, bookmark them for uh, for later viewing. Let's try maybe this one. You can mark this one as a as favorite, favorite, and you will be able to find them here, and you will be able to uh, to sh also share them. So by selecting them and uh, creating a, just sharing them by email, for example, if you want to send that to your uh, to your friends or to your family, by Gmail, for example. And there you go. So Android Apps Fire uh, for Android will be released this week. Watch out for uh, it in the Android market.